am a leader of my Duke and I podcast and wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a marvelous day. And if you're seeing the show for the very first time, be sure to subscribe, like, and share and hit the notification bell. So when an episode comes out, you'll be the first to know. Well, guys, we're getting a recipe from Megan. We are going to get Megan's lemon olive cake. And I am here for it. I am just so here for it. <laughs> well, our princess of Montecito, who has collaborated with Chef Andreas, an angel on earth, literally. This man, he goes anywhere there is a disaster or a crisis and he feeds people there for free. And... Megan and Harry's Archwell Foundation has partnered with him in the past and they've been doing good all over the world. Case in point, Ukraine in this crisis that they're having right now, the war that they're having with Russia, they also went there and they were feeding people. My island, when Hurricane Maria hit my island, Chef Andreas's World Central Kitchen showed up in my island and fed the people of Dominica and I am so grateful to him and the people have been so grateful to him they will never forget him not only did they do a pop-up kitchen they also built a community center that the people and them can use to this day five years in since Hurricane Maria and this community center is there and people are using it for different events. So thanks to Chef Andreas, he's a marvelous, marvelous man. And one of the things that I like about the Sussexes is how they associate themselves with people that are positive, people that are doing things around the world. And it's not just any organization. Organizations such as um, World Central Kitchen is a, a it's just a tremendous organization and you must give the Sussexes props because Megan and Harry they've been doing such good things from the time they were little and that is the reason why they are so blessed no matter how much people try to demonize them no matter how much people try to smear them they are always rising cream always rise to the top and case in point that shoes and bag megan wore the other day as much as the british press and some of the american press would like us to believe that people are falling out of favor with megan yet that shoe and that bag were sold out for the mere fact that megan wore it so as i said cream always rise to the top and for those people who are wishing Meghan and Harry bad, when you dig a hole for, your, for them, also dig a hole for yourself because they are winning. Look at how Charles tried to, you know, act bad and like he had ownership of Lily and Archie's titles. Meghan literally and Harry checkmate him. He had nothing to say because he knows that that was their birthright. So every time these people open their mouth and say things about Meghan and Harry, I'm telling them egg is going to fall right back on their face because these two people are blessed. They've been doing things from a young age. God has bless them because of those reasons so going back to that book i am looking forward to reading that book because not only are we going to have recipes in that book we're also going to have stories from all over the world where uh, chef andreas has been to you know so i'm looking forward for those people who you know are not doesn't like to cook you can read the stories for those people who like to cook you can do use you can try the recipes out and you can also read the story so it's just a win-win situation and how can you get your book you can get your book by september but you have to order early because you guys know how harry and megan things go the minute they say that they're associated with something it's sold out look the shoes were sold out the bag was sold out people couldn't get um harry's book in different places so you guys have to go on 
um, worldcentralkitchen.org and pre-order your book and you will get it in September. I am going to order my book. I always have a little petty cash hanging around for events for Harry and Meghan because I want to support them because they are doing great things and there's a lot of bad forces out there that is trying to pull them down and we the Sussex Squad is going to support every and anything that they are part of. So go ahead and get your book and make sure that you try that recipe and let us know in the comments how that recipe went for you. I know I'm going to try it and hopefully I'll be able to show it on my channel. And by the way, guys, tomorrow, speaking of food, it just sort of like made me remember that I promised to do that mustard um, chicken with you guys. So I'm going to do it tomorrow and I'm going to post it. I am so excited. And this is not the first time that we're hearing about that lemon olive cake we heard about it when megan had teamed up with um world central kitchen in the past and i think it was 2021 and they were serving food in chicago and um it was on women's i think it was um let me just get this date right women's history month it was in on women's history month in 2021 and one of the things that were being served to um you know, the people and them out there was Megan's fabulous cake. So it must be good. Looking forward to it. Okay. So I go ahead and get your book. Just go ahead and get your book. Don't wait. Order Pre-order your book. Okay. So that when September comes, because it's just around the corner, when September comes, you can get your book. And I'm there for it. I'm going to try it. Also, too, <laughs> um, I saw something, I don't know, I think it was on Omid um, Twitter page. And I always knew that Sophie was a mean girl. She always had these terrible sta stares that she gave to Megan. She stared Megan down. She was just always looking at her and i said to myself if looks could kill sophie would have killed megan already with those looks that she was giving megan because every time you see her it's either she is ignoring megan or she when megan turns she's looking at her in a sly way and um, i hope that sophie is now happy she has her title i know she's worked for it she's joy she was you know part of that royal family, the pact that they had where they went about saying that they're going to ignore Megan and give her the cold shoulder. So I hope your reward is good, Sophie, because I know everybody who's done the devil's work, he always comes back for his prize. You see, he always come back for his prize. And I hope you have it to give him because what you've done as a woman is terrible. You have a daughter of your own, and I hope you don't want somebody to treat your daughter the way that you have treated Megan by giving her those dirty looks and the cold shoulders that you have given her. Shame on you. So I hope you're happy now. Welfare recipient walking around like you guys are important. I hope people boo you guys everywhere you go. I hope they throw eggs on you guys for the things that you guys have done. Just plain evil. Somebody in England, no family there. Megan has only her mother. She goes to England and instead you as a woman, Sophie Wessex, support Megan and be there and be kind. What do you do? You join the pack of the other women of the royal family like Kate jealous kid mumbles and you join pa a pack with them to give my megan the silent treatment shame on you shame on you but when the media is ready for you again they will tear you to bits okay don't think you're safe don't think you are safe at all anyways on that note guys bye for now